this is what we are really interested in. This is where the um, user land uh, address space of every application on where the uh, kernel address space is stored. So uh, the blue blocks are what we are looking for on what we really want. Uh, this is what we can retrieve inside the Microsoft hibernation file or in the uh, Microsoft crash dump file. So if you have this kind of uh, physical address space, the red blocks will be never copied because it, they belong to the uh, device memory. Uh, the problem with the Microsoft hibernation file is that you have um, at least from uh, Windows uh, Vista and below, you have a four gigabytes limitation. Uh, it's no longer the case with Windows 7. You can have, uh, you can still use the hibernation feature even if you have more than uh, four gigabytes of uh, physical memory. And if you want to generate a full memory crash dump with the uh, BSOD, uh, if you have more, if you have more than uh, two gigabytes, you will only have. Uh, a mini dump, which is which will be only uh, 64k or 128k. So, uh, when you are doing a copy of a raw memory dump, so it's exactly the same. It's exactly a copy of the physical address space. So there is nothing really complex here. Uh, when Windows is generating the uh, Microsoft crash dump. Uh, Windows is taking only the three blocks. Uh, it put it in the uh, Microsoft Crash Dump file, and it's adding the uh, Microsoft Crash Dump header, which contains information which uh, that uh, Windows debugger is going to use to initialize the debugger. So, unlike the raw memory dump. Uh, the Microsoft Crash Dump has a format which is uh, widely used. Uh, on, in this header, uh, we can retrieve the most important information we need uh, for the analysis that makes possible the analysis under Windows Debugger. Uh, because when you have a raw memory dump, you have to re firstly retrieve a lot of uh, information and to brute force uh, several addresses. Uh, the Microsoft Crash Dump is not compressed, which is not the case of the Microsoft hibernation file, which is uh, really more complex. So, like the Microsoft Crash Dump, it will only take the blue blocks uh, and it will compress them in a 64 uh, kilobytes block. Uh, it's also using a file format, but this one is uh, only used by the uh, process which will resume the uh, operating system state. So, regarding the uh, file format, uh, the raw dump doesn't have any file format, uh, so it doesn't contain information. Uh, we um, could use to directly analyze it. And uh, most of uh, memory analysis tool only support this uh, file, uh, this uh, kind of uh, memory snapshot. Uh, but this one is very limited. We will see uh, why. And uh, the uh, hibernation file uh, contains a file format. So at the very beginning, we uh, have the uh, important information we will use uh, to convert the hibernation file into a Microsoft Crash Dump. Uh, the problem with the hibernation file is that we have around seven or eight versions of uh, this file from Windows XP to Windows 7. And it depends on the architecture, but eight version is not really a problem, at least for the tools I'm going to show. So uh, with the Microsoft Crash Dump, so uh, which is uh, the topic of this talk, uh, it had been used uh, 
for several years by most of developers on people on Windows. And moreover, Microsoft is maintaining a free tool which is called uh, Windows Debugger. Uh, Windows Debugger has a notable advantage. It uh, clouds the Microsoft symbols. Um, so it means it works with every uh, version of uh, Windows because you can retrieve the symbols remotely from the Microsoft server. So let's say actually there is the uh, SP1, the beta version of the service pack 1 of uh, Windows 7. Uh, actually, there are no tools to analyze uh, a memory dump from uh, a service pack one of Windows 7. So let's say uh, you are able to convert a Windows hibernation file uh, into a Microsoft Rush dump file of a Windows 7 uh, SP1. Uh, you will be able to load this file in Windows Debugger. And Windows Debugger uh, will be able to retrieve the uh, symbols from the Microsoft server, so you will be able to do the analysis and you won't be stuck. So the symbols does have uh, a lot of advantages. And Windows Debugger does have a e free SDK, so you can still develop your own plugins and everything. So here is a flowchart of the uh, software memory acquisition on Windows. So by using Windows, you have two ways. Uh, to generate a memory dump, uh, but as we have seen, uh, it has some limitation, especially for if we are using the uh, blue screen of diff to generate a Microsoft Rush dump, because if you have more than two gigabytes of memory, you won't be able to have a full memory snapshot, which is uh, the most interesting snapshot. Uh, same thing with the hibernation file, depending on the version of Windows, uh, you won't be able to have an hibernation file if you have uh, more than uh, 5 gigabytes of memory. But uh, if you are using third party tools, uh, most of the time you will be able to you know, generate a raw memory dump. Uh, which is a raw memory dump that you could uh, only be able to use a v with a very specific software. So, again, you have a dependency regarding existing tools, uh, which are not necessarily uh, complete or are very new. Um, with uh, Win32 DD and Win64 DD, uh, which is one of the tools I'm going to present. Uh, you can generate directly uh, two kinds of memory dumps on a live system. So a uh, raw memory dump, like uh, every uh, existing tools. But also you, can, you will be able to generate a Microsoft crash dump directly uh, without generating a blue screen of diff. So uh, let's say you have a live machine, you want a Microsoft crash dump to analyze it, uh, to, to analyze under Windows debugger. Uh, just run WinDD and generate a Microsoft Crash Dump and that's it. And you don't have to reboot the uh, machine. So, uh, the toolkit I'm presenting is called the Monsoles Windows Memory Toolkit. So, it contains various utilities, including uh, WinDD, uh, Dump to Bin to convert a Microsoft Crash Dump into a linear memory dump, the raw dump. Uh, you can also convert a raw dump into a Microsoft Crash Dump, so we will see why it can be interesting sometimes. Uh, there are also two tools for the Microsoft hibernation file. Uh, the first one, hiber 2 dmp is going to convert directly a Microsoft hibernation file into a Microsoft Crash Dump. And the second one is going to uncompress, hiber 2 bin is going to uncompress the Windows hibernation file. So, regarding WinDD, so this is a physical memory acquisition utility for Windows, uh, for uh, which you have to use on a live uh, system. So it works from uh, Windows XP to Windows 7, uh, with uh, both 32-bit uh, and 64-bit edition. Uh, it supports two formats of uh, output file. So the first one is uh, zero dump, and the second one is the Microsoft Crash Dump. And you can generate a Microsoft Crash Dump even if you are not uh, using the debug mode, which can be uh, really uh, useful sometimes. So it means you don't have to reboot. 
Uh, and it also has hashing uh, features, so you can, uh, at the same time you are generating your memory dump, you can have uh, either an MD5 hash, uh, SHA-1 or SHA-256. Uh, it also has uh, three different mapping techniques, uh, which are present to don't be stuck, for instance, there are some uh, memory uh, software utilities to acquire the physical memory uh, only using the uh, device physical memory device. So if you are a rootkit, it's really easy to block. So that's why I put uh, three different uh, methods. Uh, if you remember the uh, first image, we have uh, different blocks in the physical memory. Uh, Windows is only taking care of the blue blocks, and if you use WinDD, you can choose uh, if you want everything or a very specific block or not. So it's more complete than uh, uh, a Microsoft crash dump generated by Windows, for instance. More, and you don't have the uh, two gigabytes uh, limitation, for instance, if you have a machine with uh, eight gigabytes of physical memory. Uh, you can still you can still uh, run WinDD on it, and to have your uh, eight uh, gigabytes uh, memory snapshot. Uh, WinDD also has a feature to send a memory dump uh, remotely over TCP/IP. So the TCP client is uh, running in kernel mode. And you can also switch WinDD into a server if you want to. Receive the memory dump. Uh, it's not mandatory to use WinDD. You can, so you, for instance, if you, are, uh, if you want to receive the memory dump on a Linux machine, you can still use Netcat because there is no specific uh, header in the packet uh, WinDD is sending remotely. Uh, it's really fast. Uh, you can also use a SIMB uh, file system uh, as a target path. Yep. Sorry? I don't listen. Uh, oh, it's already uh, public. I'm giving the address at the end of the uh, talk to download it. And uh, unlike Live Caddy, uh, which can also you uh, generate a Microsoft Crash Dump if you want, at least uh, with the last version, uh, you don't need to use uh, symbols to uh, generate your Microsoft Crash Dump. So you can really use it in real life without any problems. So if you want to use it, uh, if you want to use WinDD to uh, send the Microsoft Crash Dump, uh, it's really easy. You just have to type the following command. So you just have to specify the address of the remote server on slash D, yeah, it means that you want a Microsoft Crash Dump. And that's all you have to do. So it's a really easy command to do a really complex job. So here is a screenshot of uh, a remote acquisition of a memory dump. So as you can see, I'm really lazy, so I'm using uh, localhost as a server. But uh, still, this is what uh, you can see when you are using WinDD. So as you can see in the right part of the uh, screen, uh, we have uh, some uh, memory statistics regarding the memory usage on the memory size, the physical address size, this kind of stuff. We can also have uh, the hash of the memory dump. Uh, it tells us how long time it took to have the memory dump. And in the left part, we have the uh, server part, uh, which tells us that we have correctly received the memory dump and how long time it took to receive it. So again, uh, when WinDD is sending the data to the server, it's done from kernel on, so it's really cool. And it's not using the, uh, for instance, uh, in Windows Vista, Microsoft introduced the WinSock, so it's not even using the WinSock. Uh, yeah, so you can also use it locally, of course. So you have the same information I said before regarding the memory statistic. So it's uh, pretty, much, pretty much the same thing, uh, except you are uh, uh, acquiring your memory dump on your local hard drive. Uh, 
or USB stick.